Lords, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the film review show that finds it impossible to buy good quality black pudding. On the menu today, we're taking a look at the animated picture that brought comedian Jerry Seinfeld back to our screens. Please give a very warm welcome to B-Movie. <laughs> so, what's the plot? Well, Jerry Seinfeld plays Barry B. Benson, a recent graduate from B College. Depressed by the lack of choice he faces working as a bee, he longs for adventure. During a trip outside the hive, he breaks one of the cardinal rules of beedom and speaks to Rennie Zellweger's human florist, Vanessa. Barry soon finds out that mankind is stealing honey from the bees and he is determined to do something about it. Mortimer, be a love and play the film. Oh, I'm sorry, I know it was a terrible gag, but please. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow, yeah, let's shake it up a little. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? Can't believe it. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. On the face of it, bees are fascinating creatures. Aside from the human language, the honeybee waggle dance is the most sophisticated form of communication in nature. Bees have a sense of time, they can recognize human faces, and they're responsible for every third mouthful of food we eat. But best of all, you can eat honey that is 3,000 years old. <laughs> Sadly, any kind of interest I may have once had in Apis mellifera has been destroyed by this earth-shatteringly disappointing film. Where to begin? Well, for starters, the animation looks lacklustre compared to the gorgeous palettes employed by recent animations such as Ratatouille. And although the hives are a riot of colour, they lack the depth and detail that you now come to expect from a, a top-notch studio such as DreamWorks. And then there's the weakness of the characters. Seinfeld's Barry is just plain annoying. While he produces the odd giggle-worthy gag, it feels like he's going through the motions. Seinfeld also seems incapable of changing vocal tone. A sentimental scene is played in pretty much the same timbre as a funny one. Chris Rock's Mosquito is cruelly robbed of screen time, while Rennie Zellweger's florist is so poorly written that it's a credit to her that she doesn't corpse when performing her lines. The only saving grace is John Goodman's deliciously oily lawyer, who not only steals the show, but handcuffs it, shoves a table tennis ball in its mouth, and robs it blind. But my biggest gripe, dear viewers, is the story. Can someone please tell me what the hell this movie is about? On the one hand, it seems to be about rebelling. On the other, it seems to extol the virtues of cross-species love. Then there's an absurd court case involving the nature of slavery, which brings up the themes of work ethic, environment. The message is all over the place, but that still doesn't stop the writers giving us a slew of cutesy sermons. Mortimer. Work may be a mystery to you because making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you something about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to doing what we do best. Working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Did you really need to do that? You might as well have given us a speech about the importance of being a brown bag. You may think I'm a brown bag, but I'm actually a person. A person bag with real person bag feelings. Sure, just one of us can carry your shopping, but a whole load of us can be scrunched together to light a fire or provide enough bedding for a very small tramp. We bags may be thrown away, unloved, or simply disguise alcohol you want to drink on the street, but we will always be brown bags. I think you get my drift. This film is so sickly that it's the kind of movie that might have its writer but it's wife and children on the credits as wife support system and kid humour consultants. Whoops, it has done. Ladies and gentlemen, B-Movie is out to rent now and I'm sorry to say that this film is no more than two stars. And finally, folks, it's time for Piggy Piggy Snack Snacks. And on the menu today, a Terry's Caramel Bite. 49 pence of anyone's money. It's two bars of milk chocolate filled with crispy cereal, caramel and biscuit. And what's wrong with those combinations? It's almost like a holy trinity. Here we come, two bars like this. Mmm. You've got a good texture, a good crunch. 
nice little line of caramel coming through the middle. But the chocolate taste is disappointing. It's a bit lacking for me. And I suspect a bit lacking for you. Two stars. Goodbye.